The sun is rising, just over that tree line. Perfect, oh man, you can just see it in real time as it just ekes up over the branches on the horizon. So good. Just a little foggy crossing over the line. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here today, number five of my cross-country journey where I'm taking only the road less traveled, no major freeways, interstates, heavily trafficked thoroughfares, also no theme parks, and no no attractions of any sort, just Americana, small town life, soaking in the ambiance, the sights and the sounds. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? To give a perspective of the route I will be taking, making my entry point right down here, and we'll be moving along the southernmost point. Going west. In most cases, I will use a water tower as the signage for the entry point into a community. They're all different in their own little ways. Look closely, you can make out where it says produce stand in the window. The vintage Little Debbie sign. I really like this. Obviously, this section has been destroyed or removed. But engraved up top. And painted trees along the brick line. Very creative. The smaller section wedged in the middle has pillars as part of the facade. Got some cotton fields here as well. I don't think anyone's living in this. The thing about fog, it provides a nice layer of ambiance for the drive. Quaint little town square with a gazebo directly in the middle. The shops definitely have that old school feel to them. The first courthouse in Ashley County was erected on this site in 1849 and no longer exists. I can almost picture it and see it in my mind right here. Makes sense, it's a pretty good sized plot of land. Down the ways a bit to Fountain Hill, population of less than 200 folks.
In later years, this building was used as general merchandise and farm supplies, but even that has since closed up and moved to the old school cafeteria. The post office down to the left and the bank established in 1913 based on that engraving. Been cruising down this path for a while. Been kind of skipping all over the place. I see one particular turn off, a fork in the road, and I take it. As long as I'm heading in the same general direction, everything is okay. This is the Saline River, S-A-L-I-N-E. It's a very vocal bird. <laughs> Doesn't look like this railroad gets used anymore, these tracks. Weeds are growing up through it. One day I want to climb a water tower. It's frowned upon and not allowed, but maybe I can get permission one day. Corner of 2nd Street and Main. Something incredibly peaceful about standing here. Local mail delivery. And a service station, mechanic shop right over here. There's some bamboo off to the right over there. In case you missed it. I think that was bamboo. There's a metal rope going over the water there. Something hanging from it. That noise is this pump. Doing its job. Smack over. You're reading that correctly, that's what it says. Smack over, Arkansas. An interesting setup downtown for the light system in the middle of the road. It's also a oil rig placed here. It's not working, but it's also at the intersection. The book deposit box is no joke. That is highly secured and heavy duty in front of the library. A closer peek at this, this traffic light here. Going from yellow to red. Artistic representation of the train station. Some of the other local establishments, a pool hall over there, drugstore, and the theater. And even more paintings on the opposite side of the park on this brick. Go to church on Sunday. There's a lot of detail and a lot going on in this mural.
Rose Drug Company established in 1922. And unavoidable there on the left, that classic symbol of beverage goodness. I get really excited when I find these. Nothing says nostalgia quite like it. Notice the cross perched up there, the tower. It's barely peeking through some wording here. Best flower, this advertisement, and then faintly below it, please everybody. Got it. Gosh, I nearly missed this one on the way out of town. 1922. Doesn't get much more back road than this. It's not even paved. Just clay and dirt. I ended up making it back onto pavement. Been driving for about another 45 minutes or so. Have not passed one car, nor had one coming from the opposite direction. Solitude. It's an odd feeling. You're just zipping along and there's no other, no other traffic, no other cars, no other pedestrians. Just the open road and woods. Lots and lots of woods. The bridge that automobiles used to use to get into Stevens has been rerouted. What you're seeing straight ahead is downtown. The far end is the post office. It's happened. It's finally happened. I'm happy to announce for those who've always wondered, where's Waldo? The answer? It's right here. And not too far from there, not a bad commute, is the historic district of Louisville. This place is a veritable treasure trove when it comes to promotional material painted on the side of brick. Totally my wheelhouse. Yes! Haltom Hardware Company. They would buy, sell, new and used furniture and antiques. Lester Higgs department store to the right of the general dentist. So good. Lafayette County Drug Company, I can easily make out. The rest of it, not so much. Your guess is as good as mine. That's a toughie. Here's another angle. A few open establishments, including Possum Bob's Live Bait. Look at this glorious item. Just 
just a snippet of the neon remains. Very little remains. Oh my goodness. Vintage Pepsi machine alert. But first, that's not a train on the tracks. It's something else. All right, back to this beauty. Goodness gracious. They don't make them like this anymore. Got the seven up emblem, a Dr. Pepper sticker, 50 cents. Gotta be moving on, but this place was top notch. Like stepping back in time. Louisville, Arkansas. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take a step further, ring that notification bell, and if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll put links to previous episodes from this road trip in the description box down below. And I will see you tomorrow from another state. The vlog is over.